Hi everybody! This is Jersha from Jersha and Dub, and today I have something special. I am unboxing a thread up reject box of mixed clothing. Um, I didn't buy this for resale. A lot of the videos that I've seen on YouTube are people buying these for resale. I bought this for myself um, because I've lost some weight and you know I'm still working on it but I don't have a lot of clothes especially nice things to wear so I bought this to kind of build up a wardrobe for myself um, I've only gotten one of three boxes but this is the biggest box so I figured I would go ahead and film this then I'll film the other two and put them together in one big video and I'm just I'm impatient so I wanted to go ahead and open it so it is just arrived and Go ahead and open it. Okay, I did pay, I think this is what this is, um, $140 for 50 items. This is the mixed clothing 50 items. I chose 2X plus. Um, I'm hoping that there will be some good stuff in here. So, let's see. The first item is Lane Bryant. Very sheer, really cute um, top. Definitely something for the summer. Um, not really my style, but it's, it's cute. I like it. Next item, this is new with tags from Catherine's. It's like velour pants, I think that's what these are called. Um, definitely not my style, but new with tags, so I'll pass them along to somebody that can use them. This is a white sweater, obviously. It's like an off-white. Lane Bryant, 1820. Definitely need something underneath, but this is really cute. Could be for Christmassy type things. Um, Mary McFadden woman, uh, 2X. Black top, it's got um, elastic on the sleeves and on the bottom. Cute detailing around the top. Definitely something I would wear. Another thing that's new with tags from Catherine's. Looks like just like workout leggings maybe or around the house type leggings. Dark green. Um, I might wear them. I'll try them on. This is from Sonoma, Goods for Life. A little graphic tee, cute, a little oversized. I think that this would be kind of nice for just wearing around the house and stuff. It seems comfy. Lane Bryant, kind of um, camo, pink, really, really sheer top. Not something at all that I would wear. Morona 2X tank top. Kind of cute. Um, the sleeves have like elastic around them. Not much for sleeveless shirts, but I am willing to try it on at least. Shockingly green. Um, I don't know the brand. Oh. It just says JCP, JCPenney. I don't, I guess it's like one of their store brands. Skinny, like, pants. They're not really jeans, I guess, because they don't feel like jeans. They're softer. But they're cute. I mean, if they weren't bright green, I would be really excited. I will definitely try them on and see what I think. Uh, 
This is Zenobia brand. It looks like maybe a dress. I guess it's a dress. Sleeveless. Definitely seems really, really small for 2X. Maybe it's a kids. Or maybe this is the wrong right size. It says 2X. Maybe it's like juniors or something. Another velour pair of pants. These are going to be given away. Land's End, size 2X, tank top, long, I mean, if I can wear something over it, then I think I would probably wear this because it's long, it's, it's cute. I guess they just threw like every pair of really ugly velour pants in my box. There's another pair. Uh, let's see. Another Sonoma graphic tee, very similar to the other one. Arpeggio knitwear Christmas sweater. I mean, Definitely not something I'd wear all the time, but for sure to a Christmas party. It's it's cute. It's kind of on the ugly side, but still kind of cute. I like it. Very Christmas. Uh, let's see a brand. Jeans. Capris, actually. I don't see a brand. It just has like the 20 size. But I don't, I don't see any kind of brand, but if they fit, I'll keep them. Another sleeveless shirt. Rockin' Republic. It's like Kohl's, I think. Kind of cute. If I wear like a jacket or something over it, I would wear it. This one has a sleeve, uh, tag on it still. Uh, Curve Revolution. I mean, this is super cute. Sleeveless dress. But I just don't, I don't like sleeveless. I might try it though, because that's cute. If I could wear something under, over, something, I would wear it. Sonoma, good for life cute short sleeve shirt. I like it. I like the color. It's like a bluish dark green sort of. It's kind of hard to tell in the in this light. I just have like lamps not like natural light. Um, Mary McFadden. Basically the exact same shirt as earlier. Like literally same style and everything. Catherine's old lady pants because they've got the stretchy bit on the sides. I might see if my mom wants these, but I don't really want to make her wear these ugly pants. So I'll just give them away to somebody. Ooh. Lane Bryant. It's a coat. Very, very cute. I like it very soft zips like sort of off center so hopefully this fits me because I like it a lot Lens and athletic pants I do work out so I can wear these don't really like pink that much but they're not terrible Another one of the exact same dress. Like, I don't understand why they're sending me multiples of the exact same thing. I'm not opening a store here. I'm trying to, you know, build up a wardrobe. I may end up having to sell some of this stuff. Maybe I'll take it to a consignment store locally. Uh, Casual Freedom. 
very weird so it's like two different colors of white and then it's a short sleeve with the long sleeve under I think that's like a two layer or something I don't know what it's called it's kind of cute but I don't like white because I'll spill things on it I'm a very messy person extra touch short sleeve shirt with this like crochet almost type details on the back I don't like this kind of stuff because like you see your bra through it and also the shirts pretty sheer anyway so you're gonna see it anyway so uh, not really my style and there is I believe another one yep another one exactly like it in here I mean it's new with tags and everything so that's cool but I don't need two of the same thing thread up come on Catherine's long sleeve pink shirt not my style, but it's definitely something I could wear under another shirt. I mean, it's an undershirt, you know, no big deal. A couple more things. This is Just Be Free gray, like space dye, I think is the color style t shirt. It's cute, simple. Another Rock and Republic. I think this is the exact same as the other one. I'm getting a lot of repeats here. Like, a lot. Because this is the same as one I've already had. Now this is just a long sleeve. It's Pima Cotton. I'm thinking this might be from Lane Bryant. I might be wrong, though. It doesn't I can't read the tag oh J Jill nice undershirt I wouldn't wear it alone for sure Worthington uh, sleeveless with like little detail on the side it's cute I like I really like the color if only it weren't uh, sleeveless. Another of the same dress. Does anybody want one of these? Because I'll sell it to you cheap. Moa Moa Woman. Short sleeve, simple shirt. It's got a tag on it still. It's kind of cute. Old Navy Love More. This looks like a pajama top. I think. I think that's a pajama top. I'll have to look it up. But it's Old Navy. Last thing in this box. There will be two more boxes coming soon. City Chic, which is an expensive brand, I'm pretty sure. But this is like a. I don't know. <laughs> like a crop top. But it's got like a big hole here, I guess, for cleavage, which I don't really have much of. This is not my style at all. So let me just count what I got. should be everything so 37 items in this first box and there's two more boxes so either they're gonna be like big things or I don't know because like one box is five pounds and the other one is eight or something like that so we'll see 37 items here we'll see what the next ones are all right it's 24 hours later and I got the other two boxes that I was expecting yay um, these are considerably smaller, obviously. One's about um, like five or six pounds, and the other one's probably close to the same amount, and they're much, much smaller. 
Um, I've got like some b-roll footage to show you, some comparison. Uh, but I'm just going to dive right in, because you already know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the tape off of both boxes, so I don't have to do that halfway through. Alright, let's start with this bottom one. I am guessing <clears throat> that these are mostly shirts. Just, just a guess. Could be wrong. Alright. So, apparently I was definitely wrong, because I got another pair of green pants. Catherine's, I believe. Yep, Catherine's 2X. Their 2X is 22-24. Most other places I feel like is 18-20, and that's more of what I was expecting. But these are, oh, these are 2X Petite. Not gonna fit me in any way, shape, or form. So there's that. And this is a jean jacket. B and CC. 2x but it's like a small 2x I think but it's cute definitely like vintage feeling looking <clears throat> then there is another pair of pants these are Catherine's 2x stretchy I don't know like just kind of around the house pants I would say they have pockets. They're really, really stretchy. Uh, these are Avenue Petite Velour Pants, like my fourth pair of Velour Pants, I think, maybe fifth. Um, then this is from Catherine's and it's got different words meaning pretty I think it's like Bella Hermosa yeah beautiful okay they all mean beautiful new with tags it's cute and that's all that was in that box so let's do box number two Sonoma 2X. Like that space dye, heathered. It's cute. It's really oversized. Like, I feel like these boxes are either really, really big or really, really small for some reason. This looks like a dress. Jennifer Lopez, 18. New with tags. Super cute, but again, sleeveless, not for me. But I really like the color of this. The style is a little bit, I guess, plain. But it, you know, you could dress this up. So, could be something for a holiday party, I suppose. Another pair of those pink pants lands in, new with tags, and another pair <laughs> two fur. Uh, same thing. These don't have tags, but these do. Uh, let's see. doesn't have the price on them. I mean, I guess I can't complain because Land's, Land's End is a really expensive brand. So, yeah. J. Jill, another one of those white, just plain, long sleeve shirts. Just be free, a space dye, exactly the same as that one that I got in the other box. <clears throat> Another Lane Bryant, really, really, really sheer camo, but this one's actually like a standard camo, not the pink. But I mean, I tried on the other one last night and it was so tight and so sheer, I mean, it just, it leaves nothing to the imagination. It is not something I'm gonna wear. Another pair of velour pants. 
New tags. Yay. Another space dye shirt. Just be free. 2X. I mean, these are cute, but I don't need like four of the same shirt. This is kind of crazy. And this is the last item. Uh, Land's End Women's Stretch Fit. Stretch Chino's Slim Fit. Still have the tags on them and everything. This is not really my style, but I'm sure I can find somebody who will wear these. They're super cute. You could wear them to like a cruise, I guess. I mean, I've never been on a cruise, but I'm assuming. Um, I mean, yeah, the color's not really my, my thing though. So let's count what we got out of the other two boxes. Um, so we were on 37, so this would be 38. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So, 52 total items. Um, I haven't tried everything on yet, but since I got so many duplicates, I probably have tried on most things. I would say since I'm buying this for personal use, I'm not super happy. Um, I mean, there's so many duplicates, like four pairs of the same pants multiple times, like two different things that I got four of the same thing of, same shirts, that kind of thing. This is definitely not something that would build a wardrobe. Um, but I did get a lot of basics. Um, the, I tried on the Lane Bryant coat and I love it. It fits perfectly. It's super, super soft inside. And I feel like that was worth, you know, the money. Because it works out to be about $2.80 per item. If, if I could use everything in this box, then I would totally buy like 50 of these boxes as I lose weight. But the fact that I can only use some of it and I got so many duplicates, it's just kind of frustrating. Uh, I did not go into this wanting to resell the items, but it seems like I'm going to have to. And maybe I will buy another box. I just, I don't know, maybe in like a month or so when they have cycled out <laughs> all this repetitive stuff that I got. Um, or, you know, maybe I'll just not buy them and just shop at normal thrift stores. I just don't have the time sometimes, so this seemed like a good option, but I just, I don't think that this is for building your own wardrobe, at least not if you get a box like this. Um, but if you try it for building a wardrobe or if you're trying it for reselling purposes, let me know. I love watching these unboxing videos. They're super interesting to me to see what different things people get. Um, I've, I've uh, bought from ThreadUp since basically they started. I don't know if anyone knows, they started actually originally as a like a person-to-person -person trading site. You would fill up a, I think it was a medium flat rate box of stuff. Now it started out as like baby clothes and kids clothes, but eventually it, eventually it um, became where you could just trade anything. They didn't really police the site very much. Uh, I, I, uh, got some video games there once. I traded some clothes in my size. <clears throat> it was a really cool site and I was like devastated when they announced that they were going to a consignment model. But I've, I've stuck with them and I, I still think it's a great site. But I'm not so sure about the reject boxes. But if you guys want to try it out, I'm going to put my link down in the description box. And uh, if you want to let me know what you get, I would really appreciate it. Have a nice day, guys.